So far, we've only talked about dimmers. If you have other fixtures, such as LEDs, moving lights, effects machines, etc., these need to be added into the console as well. And this is called patching. This is done within the setup window, which is displayed on both the internal and the external monitor when you press setup. Once in setup, press patch wizard on the left hand side of the display. The patch wizard window will appear and guide you through adding your additional fixtures. First, the wizard asks you to select the fixtures manufacturer. Scroll down or use the cursor keys to select the required manufacturer. For example, clay packy. If you have a keyboard connected, you could press the C key to jump straight to manufacturers beginning with C. Press the next button to be shown a list of fixtures from your chosen manufacturer. Select the fixture type required, for example, their K5 wash, and press the next button. If you cannot find the fixture type you require, you can import it onto the console using USB. C088.com forward slash software forward slash library for more information on that. If the fixture has multiple modes, the next screen will allow you to select the fixtures mode. It is important that the mode set here matches the mode set on the fixture. If in doubt, consult the fixtures operating manual for more details. Once the mode has been selected, press the next button to move on and enter the DMX address for the fixture. If you have not yet set this on the fixtures themselves, press the next address button and the desk will calculate a DMX address for you based on the existing patch. It is important here to ensure that the correct DMX universe is selected. Flex supports up to four DMX universes and we don't limit you on their usage. So that's 2048 DMX channels which you can set up however you like. Any two of these DMX universes can be outputted via the two dedicated DMX outputs and all four can be distributed via an Ethernet network using streaming ACN or ArtNet. Once the address is configured, press the next button and enter the quantity of the fixtures you require. The monitor screen will tell you the number of fixtures and DMX channels remaining to ensure you do not exceed these limits. The final step in the patch wizard is to assign a channel number to the fixtures. This is a number we will refer to the fixture as within the desk software and defines where that fixture will be located on the faders. Each fixture has its own channel number so if you have entered more than one in the quantity screen previously, the first fixture will be this number and the others will be sequential based on that number. Enter the number and press finish. The patch wizard is now complete and your fixtures have been assigned. You can repeat the patch wizard for every type of fixture you have. Once you've assigned all your fixtures, you may want to edit some settings. You can do this by clicking edit fixtures. There are five areas we can edit default, home, top set, alignment, and patch. Default is what the fixture is doing when you're not telling it to do anything. So you may want to change this so your moving lights point towards the center of the stage by default, rather than just pointing straight down. You would just find the fixture you want to edit, find the pan and tilt channels, and update the values in that cell. Next is home, which is what happens when you press the home button. Our standard setting is that this is the same as default, but the intensity is at 100%. However, you can change this to be whatever you want it to be. Top set allows you to say, I don't want this channel to go above 80%, for example. And alignment allows you to set a pan or tilt inverse. So a row of moving lights can move towards the center of the stage rather than all moving stage left or stage right. Lastly, patch allows you to change the DMX address of the fixture or change the type of the fixture if you have to switch it out for a different one or you've chosen the wrong mode, for example. Once you have finished making changes to the setup, press the setup button to leave setup. The indicator LED on the button will go out to inform you that you have exited setup. Fixtures are selected in exactly the same way as dimmers, using either the buttons under the faders, using the commands described in the earlier videos, or by using groups if you have set some up. Remember on the faders, you can select multiple channels at the same time by pressing and holding the first button and then tapping the last button. If you are unsure which fixture is which, the easiest way to see which fixtures you are controlling is to press the home button. This will set them to whatever you chose earlier within edit fixtures. But if you didn't change anything, the intensity will go to full, the color will be white, 
their pan and tilt will point straight down, and their beam will be open, which means no gobos, no animations, etc. Different fixtures will have a different set of parameters available, for example, intensity, colour, gobos, pan, tilt, etc. These are grouped together into three attributes, position, colour and beam. So pan and tilt would be inside position, red, green and blue would be inside colour, and gobos, prisms, focus, shutter, lamp control, etc. would be under beam. In the future, the 088 library will split all the parameters within beam into two separate attributes, beam and shape. Flex is ready for this update and has the shape button in preparation for this update. Pressing one of the attribute buttons to the right of the internal display will open the attributes window on the internal display and put the attributes parameters onto the four encoder wheels, ready for you to control them. The parameters currently being controlled by the encoders are displayed in the four boxes along the bottom of the touchscreen, just above the encoders. Remember that each fixture will have a different range of parameters available, depending on its feature set. Consult the fixture's operating manual for details. If the fixture has more than four parameters in the attribute, pressing the attribute key again selects the next group of parameters. Once you've set up the fixtures how you want them, recording them into a queue is identical to how we described in the previous window. Just press record enter to record the next available queue, or record 10 here to record queue 10 in a specific queue stack.